Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another Clash of the Heroes Cardfight Vanguard booster pack opening. Picked up some more of the latest Cardfight Vanguard sneak preview set to open for you all. Definitely excited to build a lot of the decks from this set, including the new Glitter decks. And when I say new, this is their third line of support. So just the new Grade threes to add into the decks with all new Vanguard support. And then the Encounter decks as well for Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion and Blonde along with a bunch of other new support for all the many decks we have in the series for D format already. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the opening. Definitely excited to see what I can pull from the packs I picked up. So we'll go ahead and start off with the first pack. As you can see, there are plenty of encounter cards and our first foil is Knight of Brave Advance, Cadigan, for I believe it's for the one uh, Blitz order. We got some searchable Blitz Orders in this set, which I think is pretty cool. There's another Rising Phoenix as well. Machinery's Factory. And Emanating Monster Rasselict for the Archite deck. One of the car. It's not like an actual Glitter deck, but it's part of the Glitter storyline. I believe just like the Stealth deck for Dragon Empire. And we have two rares from this pack. Also, I believe this is one of the surgible cards as well for the Dark States double rare. Hold them in the same pack from the first opening, but if I pull it, I'll point it out from these ones also. There's plenty of Dragonic Kaiser support also, Desire Devil, Sasio, and Bupress Stinger for Stoikea once again. Another searcher, I believe, for Honey Sweet Garden, another Blitz order. So we're getting all the searchers so far, and then in a Monster Research double rare. Could we pull some triple rares? Let's see. Dragon Tree Marker and two rares from this pack. Most of you have hopefully seen the majority of the rares and commons that I pulled from the first opening. That's why I'm going a little bit faster with this opening, just so it's not a super, super long video. Serious Fight and Anomalous Pulsar Dragon for that pack. And then we also have these special illustration cards in this set. I pulled the one for Caro or Cabre is his name, from the first opening I did. Anomalous Pulsar Dragon and awesome. We pulled another copy of Viridescent Flash Roroa. So another one needed for my deck that I am building because you definitely do want to run four of this card since it counts as being able to uh, activate Persona Ride when you ride on top of a normal Roroa. So it just helps with the overall play style that the deck is meant to do, which is very complex, but it's basically the same for all of the glitter decks. And we have a Stealth Fiend is a Zao for the uh, Stealth support, which I believe could also work for Tamayura. Uh, if you have a, nope, it says it's Choji Doji, so. I know some of the cards in Stealth work with Tommy or also, but that card specifically says Shoji Doji in its name. We're getting a lot of double rares. We have an Absage Adler for the Eva Glitter deck this time around. So definitely going to be interesting how the grade 1s and 2s also mix around with all the new support because we do have that new one for Roroa also. We have a Spring Breeze Dragon. And a Forefront Knight, uh, Tay Fault, or Tay Fault, uh, definitely a tongue twister there, but our second triple rare as well. There's Silver Fang Witch, which I always seem to see pulled with Gareth also, which is pretty cool. Exaggerate Draco Kid. And Magic of Colored Flamed Relim. So this is for the Genesis. I actually don't remember pulling this double rare from my last opening, but this one I see Genesis, so that must mean it's for the Minerva deck. But it looks like we got a new double rare for Maelstrom and Luquier along with uh, Minerva in this pack. So awesome new support to go with the new promos we got also. Machinery's Factory and our first frame rare, which is Stealth Rogue of Path Chains, Kage Chika for Dragon Empire. Awesome. Just doing my best to keep all the commons and rares organized as well or best as I can. And this pack was not wanting to open. I do see double rare foiling and it is Kind Intentions Hunter Matthias, the new grade two for the Radiolina deck. Awesome. And next pack. I 
think I see some triple rare foiling and it is, oh nice, this is our first of the Avaricious Demonic Dragon King Greedon Masks. I do think it's interesting because this is a card from the anime and we got it in this booster pack. Normally the glitter sets give us like the encounter decks or decks that are from like special series like the Mythiarch and the Arms deck are from two completely different series, not the actual anime. We got them in the set, but you know, Greedon was used in the anime by a character. And they, I guess they just didn't have another set to put it in, but they didn't reprint Mask of Hydroom in this set. So hopefully they're more well available in the next booster set, which it is confirmed to be in. Dragonic Death Scythe for our double rare. Next pack. Here we have for our triple rare hallucinatory morpho for the Stoikea grade two. Yeah, I'm curious how good those grade twos will be. A lot of them from, like I said, the festival booster before shot up in price, just, you know, being very good generic. And these ones are pretty generic as well. But I think like it works around having a blitz order for a good amount of them. Retrospective dragon for the Greya and another of the Knight of Soaring Spear, just like the previous pack. And we have Spring Breeze Dragon and Brilliant Gunfire Colossus. I believe, since it says like grade four or greater, I assume that um, it's basically just for uh, maybe Bruce, because it says grade four. Vanguard, or that could be for Griffogilla, but it also says when placed on rearguard by your Vanguard's ability. So it also could be Chrono Jet, just with the actual grade four being a stride as well. That's my guess there, because he probably also has some cards for Amnesty Messiah in the set. I completely forget that we do have those two uh, stride decks as well in this format. But next double rare, we have Bustling Mechanics Rodney for the Silhouette Arms deck as well. I think I mixed up my, yep, that's the triple rare pile where I put some of the double rares. That's why I was confused for a second. And next pack. Rising Phoenix, I do see some triple rare foiling peeking out there. And it is Lady Fencer of Bipolar Nebula. So once again, yeah, they all say Blitz Order for the first rear guard option there. So just if when this unit attacks, if your drop is a Blitz Order. So if you use a Blitz Order, it makes this a pretty powerful grade two. Interesting. And let's see what we get from this one. Only one frame rare so far. And as I say that, I'm probably going to pull one from this pack. And we have a, nope, a Soul Oratorio Chaos. So another one of the grade three glitter units. So that makes two pulled so far from these packs already. Moving the camera a bit. Not done yet, though. I do have some more packs to open. Just couldn't fit them all on the screen since they were all loosely purchased let's see nope starting off with the bang dream critical for that series as well and trying to keep those organized also since i end up confusing me because they don't actually count for the triples i've pulled so far from the actual set but we do have a dragonic kaiser vermilion so another cool pool to get because that and Blonde Ezel definitely do look awesome for decks to build from this set. They gave us two very popular decks, which I think was a nice choice. We have Gigantic Arms Silhouette for another one of the new decks. Now we're pulling all the triple rares all of a sudden. Next pack. There's a Gareth. And we have a, it almost didn't look like a frame rare just because of the color scheme matching the actual card art. Machineries Factory for the, I believe it is for the arms deck, but that is another of the frame rare. Next pack. Let's see if we got anything cool. Recite a spell dragon and oh, almost back to back with Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. We have an incandescent lion blonde Ezel as well. They're both fighting for the deck that I'm going to main of the two. I have to obviously do play testing with both as well to see which one I prefer, but they both are very, very awesome. If not for the actual play style, just for the art alone and all of the units that were printed to work with those cards in this set also. 
And we have Corrosive Smoke Signals and Will-O-Wisp Daybreak Tamayura for our next triple rare. And let's see what we have. Silver Fang Witch, Fluctuate Buster Barrage, and Jovial Juggler for Luquie. Again, nice. All right, now we're winding down the pile. Gets ever so smaller now. And two rares from that pack. Adorable starter for the Mythiarch deck. And the Giraffe Turtle for it. Also, Mythiarch, Mew Millen for our double rare. It's the triple rare I haven't pulled yet. But let's see. I think there's always a chance. I could pull that card in the next pack, and can I call it or what? We have Mythiarch Lulu Razul for our next triple rare. It is such a pretty archetype. The animals just look so cute for the whole thing. It almost makes you not want to run anything but the adorable aquatic sea animals in the deck. And we have a frame rare, Recite a Spell Dragon. It's our third frame rare. And we have the critical for Bang Dream again. I, I don't even know if I've pulled any doubles for these cards yet or not, because I think there's a good amount of them, and I think they're all critical triggers. I just don't know if they're like a collection promotion thing or if they can actually be used or not. I have not checked since my last opening either. We have another frame rare, though. Boo Press Stinger for Stoikea. And how many packs we have left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 packs remaining. So we have a good amount, but almost finished. Let's see. And we have one who fulfills Spherical Harmony for the Grade 4 Grader. So I'm guessing this one is also to be used with the Stride Deck Messiah, potentially. And... We have another frame rare. Yep, it is Inciting Corruption Agamanoff for the Chaos deck. I'm curious. I'll do a count of the triple rares to see how many I have so far. But here's a Tier Knight, Lero Kills, or Lero Kliss for Maelstrom. Or it says Aqua Force, but the only encounter deck we really have is Aqua Force to begin with. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11 triple rares, so that's not bad at all. Just a few more packs remaining also. And we have Drag Ritter Latifa again for... I say again, but I'm thinking of my previous openings because I just keep track in my head of all the numbers I have for my cards. And let's see what we get from this one. We have another critical trigger for the Bang Dream Pop and Party Te Hanazano. And you always get two rares, it seems like, from those packs also. Two encounter cards. And I always see Bowmanes and Criff together also. And a famed Harsh Demonic Lordling. So this is for the Reception Search card also. And five packs left. See what I get, if anything. Well, there is a Rain Supreme King of Beasts frame rare for Ezel. So that's a pretty awesome looking card for sure. And I do see foil on this one. We have a Stealth Rogue of Path of Chains, Kagachika for the Shoji Doji deck again, also. Is there two cards for that? Is the one a foil? Or two double rares for stealth. That's interesting. Unless it can work with Tamiura in a way. It's just uh, preferred to be used with Shoji Joji for the second ability. Not sure. Two packs left. Let's see if we have anything left. We have uh, My Country is Your Foundation. And all right, so we finally pulled an Epe Did Justice Thagrea. I was wondering if I was going to pull this triple or not from all of my packs. Uh, one of the remaining glitter decks that I haven't pulled the card yet for. And final packs. Let's see 
we can get to finish this off. And with our two final rares, sadly we didn't end on an epic illustration card, but still very, very happy with all of the triple rares pulled from this as well. I'll definitely be looking to get some more sneak preview packs this weekend, so look forward to it. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and Kira Qualia out.